Army has approved a new rifle qualification and individual weapons training strategy. The old qualification, the automatic record fire, was developed in 1956 and has seen few changes since its release. The new qualification, the rifle and carbine qualification, more holistically assesses a soldier's situational awareness, safe weapons manipulation skills, and core marksmanship competencies. The rifle and carbine qualification is comprised of four firing phases, where soldiers engage 40 single or multiple stationary time targets from the prone supported, prone unsupported, kneeling supported, and standing supported positions. The course of fire takes about four minutes to conduct, has no administrative pauses once initiated, incorporates artificial support, and requires soldiers to execute positional transitions and magazine changes on their own. Accompanying the new qualification is the release of Training and Qualification for Individual Weapons, TC3-20.40. This publication will govern all training and resource requirements for rifle qualification, as well as other individual weapons. Maintaining consistency with TC3-20.0, the Integrated Weapons Training Strategy, TC3-20.40 requires soldiers to execute training through qualification within six tables. The Gates to Live Fire for tables one through five must be executed within six weeks of qualifying for active component and six months for guard and reserve components. Additionally, tables one through three are live fire prerequisites that must be completed before soldiers permitted to execute tables four through six. Table one is pre-marksmanship instruction and evaluation. This table trains and evaluates soldiers on the critical tasks necessary to safely and effectively employ their assigned weapon system. Some things that are evaluated within this table are weapons employment concepts, bore lighting, and mounting of optics. Before progressing to tables four through six, soldiers must successfully pass a written and hands-on test of tasks found in TC3-20.40. Table two is pre-live fire simulations. This table trains and evaluates soldiers on the engagement skills necessary to effectively employ their assigned weapon system. At a minimum, soldiers must successfully pass the table two gates to live fire found in TC 3-20.40 before moving on to tables four through six. Table three is drills. Where table two refines firing tasks Table 3 focuses on the refinement of the physical actions necessary to safely and effectively manipulate a weapon system. Some things that are evaluated within this table are go to prone, reloads, and clear malfunctions. At a minimum, soldiers must successfully pass the drills found in TC3-20.40 before progressing to tables 4 through 6. Table 4 is basic. This table is the first live fire table conducted by soldiers, and it is critical to the effective employment of a soldier's assigned weapon. Soldiers demonstrate consistency by placing 8 of 10 consecutive rounds within the 4 centimeter aiming point on the Alpha 8-0 target. Before finishing the table, with confirmation of zero at a known distance and application of holds. Table 5 is practice. This table is designed to challenge and prepare soldiers for their assigned weapon systems qualification. Usually, soldiers will execute the qualification to familiarize themselves with the course of fire. However, leaders are encouraged to challenge their soldiers with engagement scenarios that are harder than their qualification to better prepare them for future training events. Finally, Table 6 is qualification. This table is the culminating event for weapons found in TC3-20.40. For a rifle, soldiers must score a minimum of 23 out of 40 for day fire and receive a go on day sea burn, night fire, and night sea burn to be qualified for collective live fire events. Additionally, the alternate course of fire or Alt-C is no longer a qualification. It is now a validation event that extends a soldier's rating by six months. Commanders may execute this event no more than twice in a 24-month period, pending approval from the first general officer in their chain of command.